Hi, I'm Claire, and today I'm gonna give you a tour of my one bedroom apartment slash content creation studio. Woo, let's go. I live in downtown Denver, so we're walking distance from a lot of cool things, but we also have super big snowy mountain ranges in the backdrop of almost anywhere you are in the city. My vision for the apartment was, number one, I work here from home full time as a software developer, so I spend a lot of time here. I wanted a nice, bright workspace, but number two, and almost more importantly to me, I make all my content here. So I really kind of think of this place, especially this corner, as like a set, like in a TV production or something like that. And I really wanted to make the backdrop look super colorful and cool and like reflect my personality and stuff because when you're scrolling on Instagram, when you're scrolling on TikTok, it's hard to get people's attention. And I think a nice, bright, cool, artsy backdrop is a good way to make them stop the scroll. I love art and a lot of these pieces have significance to me. So I was like, this is perfect. And I think the way that this is a corner and it comes together with this shelf to produce some depth and like the plants to kind of add some more to the look. Now, I don't want to be talked to you about how the frames aren't exactly straight because listen, it was a really long journey to get them to hang up and every so often they fall out of place a little bit. So it's fine. The vision was colorful, cool, fun. And then some of the prints are like figures with white space in the back, like the T-Rex or the way that the boxers are here or the frog. And then others fill the entire frame like this one. And others are just like texture like this one. Before I got an apartment and lived on my own, I fantasized about how I would decorate it. Like all the time, I was always thinking about the gallery while I wanted, the art, the green velvet couch. And now we're all here and it feels as good as I thought it would, which is so, so fun and exciting. I knew I was gonna be creating a lot of stuff in here and also just working in here and being in here a lot. So I put a lot of time and effort into making it nice and cozy and exactly what I wanted. It was really important to me that this was a creative, fun, playful space. I'm not a neutral kind of girl. I'm not minimalist. I'm more maximalist. I'm more colorful. And I just wanted to like lean into those aspects of my personality to make this fun, unique, and an inspiring creative space. When you walk in, here's the view you get. The ceiling's actually really high. It's high in here, but it gets even higher. Oh, hello, koala. Anyway. I wanted a lot of natural light because I need natural light to film my content and the light comes right into this way in a corner at a side angle instead of a direct angle and it hits my face in a way that is aesthetic and like cool. It doesn't have any overhead lighting so if it's not a sunny day outside sometimes I'm pretty screwed and the lighting in the content doesn't look nearly as good. But most of the time we can do pretty well. Here's my little kitchen. I cook a lot because I work remote so I'm making almost every meal here and here's my little island. Now when you walk further into the apartment you will notice, oh! A mirror, a full length giant oversized mirror. It is one of my favorite things in my apartment. It's kind of weird to have a mirror in your kitchen, but since I do film content right there and I make fashion content, by the way, a lot of times my outfit will look kind of stupid and messed up and I wanna come in here and like look at it, make sure my hair is sitting right, the fit is laying like it's supposed to lay. And yeah, and I can also just take like Little selfies and shit in here, like it's cute. Here we have sort of my living room area. I've got this green couch love seat. I thrifted this leather like modern chair for 30 bucks at the Goodwill. And then of course we've got um, my flat screen setup. I put LED lights in the back. You can't really tell in the daylight, but at night it looks super cool in here. And I've got some colored bulbs in a lot of my lamps. Right now it's on blue, but I'll change it like every few months or so. And I have my switch because I be in here gaming crazy. The vibe at night where it's like the backlight's on here, this light is blue, I have a lava lamp over there. I'll prop the balcony door open, breeze coming in. Oh my God, I'm at I'm peace. I have a friend who's an artist. She did these paintings for me. They're kind of inspired by like shadows you see on the sidewalk from tree leaves and branches. And one is the inverse of the other. I don't know if you can tell, but they're a pair. And I told her I wanted blue and pink and I think they add so much fun to the space. I kind of like the idea of having your apartment be full of art from people you know. Like this is my friend. Cool. Look at all the windows. And this is my workspace. 
The lighting might be a little weird right now, but when I'm working and sitting this way and the laptop is looking at me, I get good sunlight. So I'm on Zoom looking very cute, very fresh faced and sunlit, of course. Some of my like content creation gadgets are over here. So I have like some mics and some cameras, SD cards, wires, that kind of thing. Along with a notepad, cause I'm always thinking of things during the day and having to write down like ideas for creative stuff. Like while I'm sitting here at work slaving away. <gasps> No, it's emotional to talk about. Come closer. I really like art too. And I painted this piece. This is not my original idea. This is a ripoff of a David Shrigley painting that I can't afford. So I just made a dupe. And I love the saying, before you can entertain others, you must first learn to entertain yourself. And I thought the pink was really cool and it looked simple enough to copy. So I just kind of did and made it my own. So sue me if you want. I've got some cork boards with some little stick-ons here. A lot of these have significant meanings to me. I have a lava lamp, of course. And I have an expo board because I make a lot of notes to keep track of things. I'm pretty absent-minded. I need a to-do list. That's where I make it. So once we leave the main living area, we can go into the bedroom which also has some really nice windows in here. I love the windows. I will never get an apartment this good again, I doubt it. And similarly to the other room, I filled this with art. And a lot of these I got from cool places, like this from the coffee shop down the street. I painted this dinosaur one myself. This is a, there, you can't really see, but it's like a spaceship. And my grandfather was a NASA engineer. So that's like a pamphlet from when he was actually working at NASA. Rainbow light, it's almost pride. Happy pride to those who celebrate. And got this Ikea lamp. It's kind of cheap, but it looks cool. And then naturally on my bedside, we have the street photographer's manual, which I picked up when I was in St. Pete's. I try to keep a pretty good stash of new books on me, even ones that are like hard copy in person, because I don't know, it's good inspiration and stuff like this is just cool to flip through. And sometimes with art, it's way better to get your actual hands on it instead of looking at it online. Here's my closet. Sliding door. We've got this side and this side. And I will admit a lot of this stuff, like especially the pants at the top, they're like secondhand thrifted things. Some of them I wear a lot, but then some of them I don't wear so much and I want to get rid of them, but I have space for them. So I'm just keeping them. So whenever I move out of here, I'm going to have to get rid of so much stuff. Anyway, now, since I make fashion content, first of all, look at how clever it was the way I organized these hats. This is a shower curtain rod or just a regular curtain rod and curtain rings and they have little clips, alligator clips on them and I can just pinch and take anything off and try it on, put it back on. Since I make a lot of fashion content, I'm in my closet a lot of the times like rapidly trying on different outfits and trying to make shit work for an Instagram reel because I'll pick out an outfit and go make an Instagram reel about it. For every one outfit that works, there's about like five at least that didn't work. So usually at the end of my workday, pants strewn across the floor, they're all in the bedroom, their shirts, everything's unbuttoned, everything's falling off the hanger. And yeah, at the end of the day, I have to come in here and tidy it up a little bit. And if you come in here, there is my shower. Um, I have one piece from TJ Maxx that I bought the very first day I moved in and there's literally no other piece of decorative um, art in here and yeah, that's me. A lot of the pieces on this wall have like personal significance to me. So I'll talk through some of my favorites right quick. So this boxing piece I did myself in college. I took an intro to painting class and you'll notice I have quite a few boxing related um, pieces here. And that's because I don't know. I just have always enjoyed the aesthetic of it. I've always enjoyed like watching Muhammad Ali interviews and stuff. I just think it's a super cool sport. It's very like, raw human emotion, super competitive. It has a cool aesthetic to it. The assignment for this piece, I think, was like we had to do it in layers. So the first layer was blue, and then the second layer was the red ring, and then the third layer was the trophies, and then the person, and then the, it's like sweat that turns into blood, and the gloves. So it ends up being like seven layers or so. And then this piece I cut out of a picture book that my painting professor from that same class gave to me, because I won a little, award mind you it's an award for an intro to painting class so like it was like you're the best of these shitty beginners anyway she knew i loved sports she gave me a sports book that had paintings in it i cut these out i framed it how cool does that look
This is a Basquiat painting, the T-Rex. I think it's super tough and kind of masculine and cool and different and like memorable if you see it. But I really wanted it to have this life doesn't frighten me part because this T-Rex is from a poem by Maya Angelou and the artist did this work for that poem, but I wanted to have that on there because I love the poem so much. This is from the Denver Art Museum to which I have a membership, but I loved this one because the guy is just like working and painting on his own. And I don't know, I just kind of relate to that a lot because I'm alone in here making content and he's alone doing his little painting and he's me, I love him. This is from a local Denver artist at a farmer's market and I loved that movie, Everything Everywhere All at Once. She said she was inspired by that and I was like, that's one of my favorite movies. And so I was like, I'll buy it because you know, in the movie they have like a laundromat and stuff. This is another boxing themed work by the same artist who did the T-Rex. This is from a digital artist I found on TikTok. They're called Orange Juice for Dinner, but relatable me in here, green couch and everything. And I'm born and raised in Alabama. I bought this at a farmer's market there. So a lot of these have significance to me and that's what I love about collecting art. Okay, and last but certainly not least, let's go on my balcony. <laughs> So now you've seen my apartment slash content studio slash cave slash I love this place and I never want to leave it and if I ever have to move to a different apartment which one day I will I'm going to be sad forever and remember this and watch this video and reminisce um, fondly. Yes! Thanks for coming along and let me know what you thought of this video, what you thought of this apartment and I'll see you next week.